So let's evaluate the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared plus x minus 6 all over x minus 2. And we've got our most common limit laws handy on the right hand side here. However, we can't apply limit law number 4 straight away to evaluate this limit because as x approaches 2, the denominator approaches 0. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0, and anything divided by 0 is undefined. So we have a case of division by 0. So what I'm going to do is to have to manipulate this algebraically a little bit. What I can notice is that x, x squared plus x minus 6 can be written as x squared plus 3x minus 2x. Okay, so positive 3x minus 2x gives me back my x minus 6. And now I can factor out an x in the front two terms. So I have x outside of x plus 3. And I can factor out a minus 2 in the final two terms, leaving me with negative 2 outside of x plus 3. So this factorizes to x minus 2 by x plus 3. So if we now divide all of this by x minus 2, I have x minus 2 cancelling with x minus 2. So this means the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared plus x minus 6 all over x minus 2 is equal to the limit as x approaches 2 of x plus 3. Okay, so now as x approaches 2, we have a case of 2 plus 3, which equals 5. So therefore, the limit as x approaches 2, let's write it out again, of x squared minus, sorry, plus x minus 6 on x minus 2 is equal to 5. Okay, now something to be very careful of here is that if I define the function y is equal to x squared plus x minus 6 on x minus 2, we can't just say that this is equal to x minus 2 by x plus 3 on x minus 2 and then cancel out the factors to give us y is equal to x minus sorry x plus 3. These two terms here are not exactly equivalent and I'll show you why now. So let's draw a graph. So we have the y-axis here, the x-axis on the horizontal, and we have our y-intercept of positive 3. Let's draw the line y equals x plus 3 in yellow. So this is the line y equals x plus 3. Now this function here is defined for all values of x. So it's valid for all values of x. It's a continuous function. Now the graph y equals x squared plus x minus 6 minus, sorry, on x minus 2 also looks the same. So I'm going to overlay them on top of each other. So the cyan curve is y equals x squared plus x minus 6 on x minus 2. Okay, the difference is here when x is equal to 2, the cyan curve is actually undefined because we have a case of division by 0. So this graph here is not valid for all values of x. It's not continuous. It is undefined at x equals 2. So just write that down. Undefined at x equals 2. So if this function is undefined at x equals 2, why can we say that the limit as x approaches 2 of x squared plus x minus 6 on x minus 2, 
why can we say that this is equal to the limit as x approaches 2 of x plus 3? Well, because when we're evaluating limits, we can make x go as close as we like to the number 2, but it is never equal to, x is never equal to the value of 2. So when we are evaluating limits, we are approaching the value of 2 from both the left and from the right and we can get as close as we like to this value and that means we are also approaching the limit from both the left and the right. Okay, so that's the distinction that has to be made. We are not actually evaluating the function at x equals 2 because it's undefined. We are finding a limit as we get closer and closer to the number 2. So while these two functions are not equal to each other, it is correct to say that the limit of the two functions are equal to each other. Okay, so I hope that helps you understand limits better. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment in the section below. I have hundreds of other tutorials on this channel, so please go and check them out. Best of luck with your math studies, and I'll see you on the next video.